Almost a little the false setup. Free money yeah. question free. of the day. Can't even do it again. Uh, free money question of the day from the Hobiko Law Firm. I have Chubby Checker tickets. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. And the New York Craft Brew Fest going on Saturday at the FX Matt Brewery. And that's going to be a uh, that's going to be a great event. And we have tickets to that coming up as, uh, as well. And who knows? Maybe somebody today will win the big cash. We've had a few days of uh, quite a few days where we've not had a winner. And let's see if we can turn that around here this morning. We'll try to do one here in the 6 o'clock hour uh, coming up. All right. Uh, we will have Sheriff Rob Machel in to talk more about the three arrests that were made in that bombing in Floyd. Crazy. Coming up. Now, uh, you know the story of the twins. And uh, they had changed their names to Duvall. Uh, but they were born here. They started school at New Hartford, then uh, went to high school at Notre Dame. One of the sisters has died. Uh, uh, reports, according to police, say that there might have been a, a, a struggle and a fight between the two sisters while they were driving their brand-new 2016 Ford Explorer. And uh, the other sister, who was driving, survived, but she took the vehicle over a cliff and dropped 250 feet to the ground onto lava rock. It was, uh, it was terrible. She ended up in critical condition uh, in the hospital, her twin sister passed away in the accident. Now, tied to here, not living here. It's a bizarre story of very successful, um, these twins that were very successful. They started a yoga uh, business and, uh, in West Palm Beach, Florida. They were just killing it. And uh, now she had been charged with murder. The other twin was charged with murder, and they put her in jail. Well, as of just a few hours ago, word is out. A Hawaii judge has dismissed a second-degree murder charge, and it happened yesterday against the woman accused of intentionally plunging her car off a cliff and killing her identical twin sister. State District Judge Blaine Kobayashi ordered the Alexandria Duval, uh, and uh, that is not her real name, uh, ordered her uh, to be released so that she could quickly get back to the States and attend her sister's funeral in upstate New York. So that's telling me that uh, it's very likely that the funeral is being held somewhere at a funeral home here in the area. And when you think about it, um, if she had wanted to, to kill her sister, even if it was in a moment of rage, I don't, I don't think it would be, you know, by driving off a cliff yeah, with a vehicle. Was, I mean, I don't. I, yeah, I, we I, said this when the, on Monday when the, the story yeah. first broke. It. Uh, why would they charge her with with murder? It just doesn't make any sense. And what evidence do you have? You have a witness who saw the car and you saw the two struggling. That's all you have. Well, and they had said, well, we're trying to we're trying to prevent her from fleeing the country. Well, she was she said she's trying to get back to New York here to be able to attend her sister's funeral. Now, there are still family members here. Uh, it is a bizarre story. I'm sure you've, you've heard about it or read about it, but it gets into some some issues where they had a, a really successful West Palm Beach, Florida, a very posh. Uh, uh, fitness center, and they were making a ton of money. And then at one point, employees say they just closed up, didn't pay people, didn't pay their debtors, and took off. Um, whether that's true or not, that's what these people are reporting. They then ended up in uh, in Utah, where apparently, according to Andrew, we did a little digging in, and we found that there are family members from here that now live in, in Utah. And uh, things were going well there until everything turned upside down. That's when it seems that they might have changed their names and moved to Honolulu, where they were starting all over again, but still were falling on tough times. At one point, uh, a report came that they ended up at a homeless shelter because they had run out of money to be able to get back to their, uh, to their apartment. So it's just a crazy story, but it ends in tragedy. And this one you'll see a lot more of nationally. It's a story that's been all over the national news. But the news is... The twin sister has been released from jail, and she'll be attending and charges funeral. dropped? Charges, murder charges have been dropped. Wow. Yeah, interesting. Uh, Christine will do news coming up in a second. As I said, Sheriff Rob Mayshill, we're going to speak with him and uh, get the latest on this bombing situation. Again, three people have been arrested. That was the big news that came out late yesterday. Three people arrested. And all the stories you heard about this whole thing, it had no connection to this man being a corrections officer. But as of last night, the man is still in critical condition, which 
is really terrible. Uh, later on this morning, Stephen Wells, candidate for NY22, congressional seat, is going to be on the phone, and we'll also be talking to Assemblywoman Claudia Tenney. All of this in preparation for the big talk, which is going to happen on Monday morning, starting at 7 a.m., the debate between Tenney, Wells, and Phillips as they are running on the Republican side for the seat currently held and which will be vacated by Congressman Richard Hanna. Christine with news coming up. Hold tight. Coming right back in one minute on WIBX.